Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you the new Acro 1000.3 and Acro 300.3. So the Acro 1000 already exists in 0.5 and the 0.7 tip sizes and so this is just a new colorway that they've made in a new 0.3 tip size. And same thing with the Acro 300. So I'll go over what these body colors are and I'll swatch the differences for you between the 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0 0.7 so that you can see that. And just talk a little bit about this lovely pen. So the Acro 1000 and the Acro 300, they both have the Acro ink that Pilot made to kind of compete with uh, the Mitsubishi Jetstream ink. So it's a hybrid, basically it's a lubricated oil-based ink that is very smooth for writing. So why don't I go start by going over the colors of the Acro 300. So it's a really nice translucent body. Now something to point out, because a lot of people want to know, if you love these bodies but 0.3 is too fine for you, you can absolutely refill it with a thicker tip size. It'll take, you know, the tip, so this is what some people, it's hard to understand. The tip is just part of the refill. So you are not limited to the tip size that comes in your pen. I know there's a lot of confusion about that. So, I'm trying to think MCP, so, oh, I see. So they're calling this a milky coral pink. I feel like it's more of a milky baby pink. That's kind of interesting. I'm not sure how it's coming off on here. Here. So there's your milky coral pink, and we've got a milky green. And this is the milky beige, super pretty. We've got milky purple. Milky Bordeaux. Now this really is more of a plum color. But they're calling it Milky Bordeaux. And finally here we have a Milky White. Now this body, this Milky Transparent body is plastic. It's a really nice pen, but it's, the price point stays really low because it's all plastic. Okay, now this it has the same inside as this more expensive body, the Acro 1000. And the deal with the Acro 1000, if I recall correctly, yes, is that it's metal down here. It's actually a lighter plastic up here. Now they do this intentionally, not necessarily to be cheap, but because uh, you get more weight in the bottom of the pen, which is more ergonomic. So and these are, they're calling pearly. So let's go over these colors. They've got pearly coral pink and this one does look a little more coral than this other one which I really felt like I mean I don't know you can kind of see the difference there but this one that I think I would have called milky baby pink but they're calling milky coral pink so here's your pearly coral pink lovely and then we've got a pearly green And for those of you who really like the click sounds, these have some really fabulous click sounds. <laughs> We've got our pearly purple, pearly Bordeaux, which again, it really looks more of a plummy color to me. 
It's got more purple in it than burgundy does, so it's more plum. And then pearly beige, I think this is gorgeous. And a pearly white. So they've done those milky colors on the 300s and the pearly colors on the 1000s. Now let's do some swatching for you. So I'm actually gonna go, I think I forgot to bring up a 0.5 and 0.7 into the photography room, so I'll be right back. This is an Acro 1000 in the Champagne Gold 0.5, and then this is a 0.7. And the, I think they call this metallic cherry pink, but I'll post the links below. Okay, so let's compare here. I'll start with the point three. You're going to see it's super fine. I'm going to zoom right in. Okay, so we've got the point three. Now, I am a tiny writer. I've said that a lot of times on here before. And so the point three is just a really good match for me. But I think probably the majority of people, it's going to be too fine for you. So, I mean, give it a try. But you might find that you want to refill with a thicker refill size. So now we'll do the point five. And especially if you're not a tiny writer, you're going to find that it just feels smoother as you go up in tip size. By the time you get up to 0.7 in a oil base, for me, it's, it's really too thick. But this is, you know, 0.7 oil base is a super, super popular tip size. So that just sort of gives you context of how absolutely fine 0.3 is. It's really nice for filling out if you've got small spaces on your planner or you've got, if you're filling out forms, you know, there's like never enough room to fill out forms with like a 0.7 or or higher like is more typical in the United States so it's re really nice really nice for forms and I feel like this little trio makes a really nice actually little trio there well I hope that helps you decide if you're interested in the new acro 0.3 in the 1000 body or the three hundred and let me know below as always if you have any questions thank you and have a wonderful week bye, -bye.